like side chick is giving like trophy wife <laughs> side chick and trophy wife <laughs> it's in these moments with words unspoken my eyes wide open life tastes so sweet it's in these moments where all I know is coming into focus and now I see it's in these moments Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I am back with another beauty video. My hair is a mess, don't mind it, right? Um, and it's because I am still waiting for my camera charger to come. At this point, it's probably going to be late. It's supposed to already be here. It's not here. I did really enjoy watching, filming, editing and watching the last beauty video. So I'm back with another one. Sorry if I'm probably annoying you at this point, but the vlogging camera battery has yet to arrive. It was supposed to come on the 21st, but it's now the 22nd. So it's one of those things. Um, I am going to be doing an almost full face of Fenty Beauty today. The only thing I don't have from Fenty is eyeshadow and setting powder. Oh, and a concealer. That's pretty much what I don't have. But yeah, let's get into it. I already did my brows off of camera. Um, I'm thinking, do I want to do foundation today? My skin is having a bit of a situation. So do I want to do foundation? I think I do. Um, I've had this foundation for a while. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation in the shade 330. And then I also have two shades. By the way, I also have the Skin Tint. The Blurring Skin Tint. I love it. It is so good. So I have two Ease Drop Lit um, Drops. This is the Ease Drop Lit All Over Glow Enhancer. I have Taffy Topaz and Pink Pearl. So I have the shade 1 and T. Um, I think I'm going to use this one. This golden one. So yeah, I'm using the shade Taffy Topaz. I'm just going to use this to kind of like prime my skin. I've really... I've really been enjoying like a glow as of recently. So... I'm going to stay glowing. You can also mix this into your foundation. But... I can't do that today just because I want the coverage and it kind of like shears out the foundation just the slightest bit and it adds like a layer of hydration so I'm trying to get the full coverage effect darling this gives you like such a beautiful natural skin like glow you can even use it on its own it's just so pretty love it so this is the shade 330 i've never tried blending this out with a sponge but let's see how it goes it's gonna look a bit crazy and then it's going to oxidize so okay it's not so bad with a sponge i don't mind it i don't mind it with the sponge um so yeah, I just have to remind you guys, as I always do whenever I use a Fenty foundation, the soft matte Pro Filter foundation does oxidize. So you can see like it's a little light on the side because it's oxidized on that side. So just be careful when you are going to purchase this foundation, test out the shade before you purchase it. Walk around, see if it oxidizes, go back to the shop, say, listen, 
this shade is oxidizing because I've had so many people purchase the foundation but then they forget and maybe also you know there was a hype when it first came out that it did oxidize so everybody was very aware however I think now that the foundation has been in the market for a while I think there's not that much hype and maybe the consultants are not very aware so not to be shady or anything I'm just saying like people can forget these things you know so just remember that this does oxidize and make sure that you get the right shade for your complexion also I know shit I keep I kept doing this the whole time in the last video I'm sorry guys as you can tell I'm getting back into it thank you guys for being kind though and not calling me out or saying anything mean about it um yeah just understand <laughs> it's been it's been a while it's really been like the hottest minute but I really enjoy it you know I'm my love for the long form content I find is just coming back initially when I filmed that video it wasn't I was like oh I don't know I don't know if it's gonna work out um, I don't know if it's gonna work out, you know. I just uh, lowered the. <sighs> I just lowered the aperture a little bit, so you guys can see me properly, and I'm not disappearing. Also, filming in natural light is a different kind of struggle. Hey, I won't lie, um, because like on a day when like the sun is blaring or the sun is going in and out of the clouds, it's really hard to like. keep changing the settings you know this is the banana match sticks haven't used it before it's brand new there the sun goes again um and i think it's to brighten the under eye is it i think so so i'm gonna use the banana shade under the eyes i'm gonna use as many shades as i can today i'm just gonna use it as like a base for my concealer to set on top of my eye bags are gucci as of recently so it's okay but we're gonna look a bit crazy for now right because i want to go in to my matchsticks i have oh so espresso is usually my jam this is espresso and then they recently sent me ebony <gasps> Ooh, ebony is when you want to like snatch the face for filth, but today we're going a bit natural, darling. Right? So I'm just going to use my uh, espresso, and I actually might mix some amber into it, you know? So I'm just going to... contour the face so I do temples I see some people doing it like this I don't know um, then I'm gonna do my nose and then a little bit on the jawline because I mean I already have a pretty distinct jaw <sighs> I know I say that all the time <sighs> I have a distinct jaw <clears throat> then I'm gonna take a little bit of amber and this is just like a lighter shade I think this one would work really good for lighter skin tones but I just like mixing it in just a little bit just so that it kind of diffuses the espresso shade you know my real techniques expert face brush and just blend this out i don't know if you guys can see but with that those two colors blended together they just it looks stunning on the skin um i really really love these products I have to say, like, if there was any product range that had hype behind it, it was definitely Fenty. Like, I think I said this initially in my other video, 
where I did like almost a full face of Fenty. I either did it for YouTube, I can't even remember, I either did it for YouTube or Instagram. I feel like it was YouTube though. Um, it's just so brown girl friendly. The shades are just, you know, the bomb diggity. But I can't even say that like anything I've tried for Fenty from Fenty has been like a miss, you know. Everything has just been like hit after hit. Let's see if we can snatch this nose a little bit more, darling. Um, these are very blendable. I know I just went very heavy on that nose contour. So yeah, I find that these are very forgiving, very user friendly. I'm going to use my multitasker from Rimmel. I don't know why this lens is just like so slow. This is a new lens, but I mean, it's just a little bit slow, darling. When it comes to you know the focusing but it's okay it's not that bad we can deal and i also really want to try a powder from fenty like a banana powder so yeah but you know now guys we adult we're adulting and also i have so much of makeup that like I don't want to overspend on makeup, especially when I have so much, you know. I'm just going to go in with my beauty blender and blend this out. Ooh, so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, now it is time for blush. I have two shades. I have Summertime Wine and I have Daiquiri Dip. I think I'm going to go for daiquiri dip mm-hmm mm-hmm it's a vibe oh it's so pretty everything just like applies like butter like you know on top of one another it's so pretty i like to do a little bit under my nose okay that is daiquiri dip in the shade number six in case you need the number they really spoil us with like the liquid kilowatts oh damn i just want to like swatch some for you guys can you even see that okay um this champagne one is hustler baby 2.0 that's this one right here right and then this one's called Side Chick. Let me blend it out for you guys so you guys can see. Side Chick, Hustler Baby. So this one's a bit more uh, golden-y. It's giving, like, Side Chick is giving, like, Trophy Wife. <laughs> Side Chick and Trophy Wife. <laughs> Rihanna is so smart with all of these names. Oh my gosh. Okay, but then they also sent me another one. Another highlighter. I am so incredibly blessed. Thank you, Lord, for blessing me with such amazing things. Um, this is the shade Crowned. This is the Shimmer Match Stick Bronzy. Ooh, maybe I can use this on the eye or for like a more bronzier look. Oh, decisions, decisions. Now, which one do I use? Liquid Kilo, Kilo, Liquid Kilowatt Fluid Freestyle Highlighter in the shade Hustler Baby. Um, I have not done a liquid highlight in a very long time so i kind of have anxiety but i mean oh i have my trusty beauty blender and i mean it's rihanna all her makeup like blends so seamlessly so layering liquids and powders just adds like a a layer of dimension to your makeup like you'll see your cheeks pop and it's just the bomb diggity. I don't know what they are fixing, guys. They look like they're fixing the roof. So hopefully you guys can't hear that, like, blowtorch sounding noise. 
Now it is time to set the face. Let me make sure everything is nicely blended. Just gonna start with the under eyes. And I also need to go on top of the nose because you know I get shiny. Okay, so I don't want to do a full on like smoky eye because I feel like I did that the last time. I am gonna just turn my paint, darling. I am going to use a palette that has not seen YouTube yet. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam. In case you guys were wondering why there is no review on Anastasia Beverly Hills on this channel, it's it's out of my price range right now, you guys. It really is out of my price range. Um, I got this palette for Christmas. And yeah, I think I, I think I also got it on sale if I'm not mistaken. I think Aqua is having a sale. So yeah, I am not buying any more makeup. I think the only thing I would actually would need to buy, only because I need to repurchase, is my Fenty... Um, foundation other than that i'm not trying to buy anything that is super expensive guys you know the fin not the fenty the anastasia beverly hills foundation is like over a thousand rand i just i can't justify it darling even double wear is not that expensive by the way i have a new love for double wear i love it i'm obsessed thank you um so yeah i just i'm at a point where I just don't think I would spend. I watched Warren um, on TikTok. I watched his review of it. And I was just like, it's such a natural foundation. Like, I would pay that money for something full coverage. But if you're giving me natural hydrating, I don't think I would pay. How much was that? A thousand and something then for it. Sorry, not sorry. Um, but I still love Anastasia Beverly Hills, okay? I still love them. So I'm going to be using the Soft Glam palette today this is such a beautiful palette my goal is to next buy a Fenty palette so stay tuned for that I think I'm gonna go in with the shade orange soda which is this shade right here I washed my brushes since the last video <laughs> aren't you guys proud of me <laughs> oh the struggle to wash brushes Like, my client brushes get washed all the time. My own, though, is a different story. So I'm just going to put this down as a transition shade. I want to do, like, a pretty eye look, you know? Like, Jaclyn Hill 2012. Brownie beautiful. You know what I mean? Guys, I am enjoying being on everyone's podcast, by the way. I was on Sarah, Sarah's podcast in Jan. I was on uh, Queen of Josie's podcast this month, February, in case you guys end up seeing this in March. <laughs> and it's just so much fun to talk about these things. I have so much of things to say, but I don't know if I could ever have a solo cast, like a solo podcast. Um... I've tried doing the whole podcast thing, but it's just really hard when people initially seem like on, they're on the same wavelength as you, and then the more you get into conversations, they say things that are like, I don't remember you saying this in the screening phase, like when I was screening you, you know? So it's been really hard to find somebody who matches your energy when it comes to having a podcast. Um, this is Burnt Orange right here i'm gonna go in with this shade so yeah it's it's just been hard to just do like a to find someone to host a podcast with and when you do find someone then it's like especially if you found each other during the pandemic it's like after life goes back to normal it's kind of hard to make time to film content again because of the fact that people's lives have changed like we had so much of time during the pandemic now we're back into the swing of things so yeah, it's it's just, it's a catch for me too. Like when you find someone good, it's like there's no time. But 
then when you find someone who has the time, they're not that good. <laughs> that sounds so shady. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This is the shade Mulberry. I don't think I've used this shade before. Ooh, so pretty. Um, so yeah. One day I will have a podcast. Hopefully. But until then, I mean, do you think I can have a solo cast? I don't know. I mean, Sarah does it. Sarah has, but Sarah has a balance. You know, she has a few people. Um, on her podcast, and she also does a lot of solo episodes. So, I am just going to take it as it's my time to be a guest on people's podcasts. It's not my time to have a podcast. <laughs> I've tried for a while. It just has not worked out. Um, but if you guys would like to see like a solo cast from me, um, obviously we will have people on the podcast at certain points in time. Sorry, darling. Um, but yeah, comment down below. Let me know. It will probably be video. So you can see my facial expressions. You can't see my facial expressions on audio. <laughs> Just saying. Um, but I guess, yeah, I have so much to say that I would just love to have a podcast, you know? So, and actually, I really enjoy being a guest on people's podcasts. Like, I really love having those conversations. Um, I am going to go in with the shade. Should we do a gold on the lid? No. I feel like I just did gold. Uh, let's do glistening. Sultry? No, let's do glistening. Glistening is this shade right here. Yeah, I, I won't lie. I started off the year being very, like, uninspired, very tired. And, you know, it has been a little bit of an adjustment. Um you know, from the pandemic to normal life to <coughs> traumatic events. Um, so it has been a very, very difficult year. I think I'm finally beginning to feel like myself. And I think you guys can probably tell by these beauty videos that I'm really feeling like myself because pr prior I was like very uninspired. I was just very like, ah. Oh, I don't have the energy, people don't watch the beauty content, but now I'm finding the love in it again. And I think, you know, you're always going to have those times where you just want to do the work that is paying the bills. Um, and then other times you're just inspired to do the work that fulfills you. And like, beauty content like this fulfills me, you know. So I am happy to create the content and live my best life and slay, darling, you know. So yeah, it has been an adjustment, to say the least. I think for all of us, and I think a lot of us are still adjusting. I don't think life will ever kind of be the same for any of us that have gone through what we have gone through the last couple of years, you know. But we got to make the best of it. we got to make the most of it. Um, I'm going to be using... Let me use a different one today. I feel like I use this one all the time. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Hyper Easy Brush Tip Liner. You know what I don't like about, and I'll be honest because it's me. You know what I don't like about the fact that I film chatty videos? is sometimes I will talk Langada stories and to edit the Langada stories is a different story. You know what I'm saying? For mascara, I'm going to be using my Fenty Full Frontal Mascara. This mascara is actually really good, you guys. Um, and you can use it alone. Like, I don't know if you guys can see how much it's elongating my natural lashes. I hope y'all can see. I hope it's doing justice. Okay, so now that the mascara and liner is done, I'm gonna go in with my Sunstalker bronzer. 
This is in the shade Coco Naughty. I meant to get Caramel Cutie, I think. So if you guys are looking for shades, you can get Coco Naughty or you can get Caramel Cutie. Whichever one. And I am just going to... If I'm repeating myself and I've already said this, I'm sorry. Um, I'm just going to set my contoured areas into place. Again, I like layering to add like an extra level of dimension, you know? Oh, I don't think I've said this on YouTube. I think I've said it on like TikTok where I said like if you're going to be using this bronzer, you can use Caramel Cutie or you can use Coco Naughty, either one. It's a really, really good shade. I think they were out of stock of Caramel Cutie, actually. Also, the packaging, darling. The packaging is stunning. Oh, for blush, I definitely have to amplify this. I'm going to take the shade Pom Pom by Benefit. Let me just add that onto my cheeks. can never have too much blush. Also, that trend of people putting their blush up here, I don't know if uh, I would ever try that. Let, comment down below, let me know what trends you guys want me to try in the next video and we will try it out because there's a lot of things I just wouldn't unless I was asked to um, like that blush on the tops here because I mean most of my meat is here why am I putting blush? anyway comment down below let me know if you guys want me to try out any trends and name the trends so that I know which one and where to start then I'm taking my Fenty highlighter you can really see that the the highlighter underneath is still very much so coming through. I can leave my skin like this, but I want to be extra. Because I am. Um, I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo in the shade Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. So, this is what it looks like. I like to mix the two together. One's like very subtle, the other one's like bubble, you know? So, I'm going to take this, like, shark's toothbrush and just highlight the face. I do have a good side. I think this is my good side. This is my meh side, you know? Look at it. Look at it! illegal to have a good side and a bad side although I will pose any side I make it work why 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 must I not like my face on either side I like it okay I'm gonna go all ahead off of camera I'm gonna put some lashes on then we're gonna come back to do the lips hello it's me I come back I just feel like a whole different person when I have lashes on and when I have lips on um I'm using the Sphinx Beauty Lashes in the shade Unapologetic. This is my first time actually trying out this style. It is beautiful. <laughs> this might be my new favorite style. I usually like Sagittarius, but this one also is like really nice. Um, it's like really nice. Oh my gosh. I have to say guys, Sphinx, Sphinx Beauty Lashes are probably like some of the best lashes I've ever tried. They last so long, it lasts like a really decent amount of time, so I cannot rant and rave about them enough. But anyway, it's time for the lips. And I want to try and go out of my comfort zone because I feel like I always go for the same type of shades. Um, ooh, Balling Babe? Hmm, maybe we can do Balling Babe. Um... Okay, I think I'm going to go for Balling Babe. And I think I'm also going to do a Gloss Bomb Heat. So this is the Fenty. How cute is this packaging? I have one that has my name engraved on it. Oh, guys, that official launch for Fenty was just like everything. Everything. I have my whole name on it, darling. Oh. Um, okay, so I'm going to use the shade Balling Babe. This is the Fenty, what do you call this lipstick again? Please hold. This is the Fenty Icon, the full semi-matte 
lipstick in the shade Balling Babe number seven. Ooh, very nice. Uh, can y'all guess what lip liner I'm using? <sighs> Say what me now. LA Girl Chocolate. Yes, that's the one. Mm. Beautiful. Love it. And then I'm going to go in with the Gloss Bomb Heat. This is in the shade Fenty Glow Heat number 3. It is a plumping gloss as well. I'm sorry. Okay, look at. Okay, you can you can wear the lipstick on its own, but I'm a heavy gloss girl right now. Look at that. Look at that gloss. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my god. I love it. I love it. I need to put setting spray on, darling. I'm gonna do Revlon Photo Ready. This is the cucumber one. This is definitely an almost full face of Fenty. I love it. I think it looks stunning. I'm gonna go ahead off of camera, do my hair. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this rat's nest, but I'm gonna do my hair and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, so this is the finished look. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial vlogs will be coming back soon comment down below let me know if you guys would like to see more makeup tutorials because if you guys want to see them and i enjoy filming them i'll be back with more so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to slay all day every day with avatar makeup and i'll talk to you guys in the next one bye bye oh, I got lost on the way to you.